going on in our kitchen. I'm excited about today. This looks like an awesome dish. Yeah, Paul from Vaughn's <laughs> Restaurant is here to make some fried grouper with a crawfish cream sauce. We have some veggies here, some crawfish. You're going to give us some secrets to the seasoning. Sure. But I guess the dredge is really what's going to be the secret to making this fried grouper. Okay. Well, uh, first thing you want to start off with, uh, if you can get your hands on some farm fresh eggs, definitely the way to go. So just, you know, real simple, we'll just crack a few eggs in. Uh -huh. And uh, we're just going to add some buttermilk. Buttermilk okay. plays as a good binder. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I, I choose that over uh, regular milk, and also it gives a nice creamy effect. Okay. So you just get a couple of eggs, a little bit of buttermilk. Okay. A little bit, just yeah, you know, just pour. a tad, just a tad. <laughs> you're okay. professional. Depend depends uh, how much seafood or whatever you're going to fry. Okay? okay. So you're just going to make sure you crack these yolks up, mix it up to where the, the color comes together, a nice yellow color. Okay. Okay. And if you're not a professional chef, and you may say dredge, wait, what's that? Also, some folks call it a breading, and it's just basically to hold the moisture in whatever sure. you're cooking, fish, exactly. chicken, today, mm -hmm. grouper. Okay, and then uh, use self-rising flour. It holds to the, uh, the product very well. And then we have here, we have a little bit of cayenne pepper, a little bit of black pepper, sea salt, uh, granulated garlic, and... Um, yeah, a little bit of mustard seed. Okay. okay, and you can season it to your liking, whatever you prefer. Okay. Uh huh. So uh, once we do that, we're gonna mix this together, and you can't can't be scared to get your hands messy in this proceed. Okay. Okay. All right. So once we have that together, we're going to take the grouper, mm -hmm. locally caught grouper. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take it. We're gonna put it in the dredge first. Let it drain off just a tad. Okay. And then we're going to move over here to the flour. And just right. press it down. Press it down. Grab a little flour over the top. Just like that. You're very thorough <laughs> explaining how to do yeah. this. This is right. good stuff. Bend it over. Okay. And then what you want to do is just kind of shake it off a little bit. Uh -huh. And this part you want to be careful. Okay. So you can use tongs. Uh, I'm comfortable using my hands. And you just want to gently lay it in here. Okay. All right. And this is just vegetable oil. Yes, this is vegetable oil. Uh, you can use peanut oil, uh, the, just different types of oil, whatever you prefer, you can go with. But this is just vegetable oil right here. Okay. How long do you need to cook it? Uh, you're going to cook it at a roughly 350 degrees, and you want to let it go maybe four or five minutes, depending on how thick your fish is. Okay. okay. Well, it's already starting to smell good. You can get things just like this at Vaughn's, and you guys are open Monday. The only day you're not open is Saturday. And we, we, we reserve Saturdays for private parties, okay. but we cater. Okay, so yes. Sunday through Monday. Yes. And do you guys have a new catering truck? Do you have a new food truck? Yes, absolutely. We, had, we, we have a there uh, it we, is. Ha we had a brand new one built. We actually did a really nice event. Uh, as you see right there, we was at Dolphin Island at the Sunset Cruise. Uh -huh. They had over 300 cars at the car show. And everybody decided to come eat with us. It was a great success. And we are now going to take that to a piece of property in West Mobile. Okay, so uh, it's on Dawes and Cottage Hill, right mm -hmm. next to the State Farm building. And what we have is a nice white picket fence going up. We're going to do some landscaping. We have structure going up to drop lights at nighttime. And it, I just want to tell everybody, if you're coming out, don't expect mediocre food. This is going to be made from scratch. Uh, we're going to have the nice red truck set up. I've got two culinary graduates that are going to cook with me that, that have great passion. And we're going to bring Westmobile exactly what they've needed for a long time. All right, I think all the can Go to Vaughn's and buy a battery. Yes, ma'am, absolutely. Fresh Gold Seafood address this recipe, fox10tv.com, Studio 10 page. We're going to let this grouper keep cooking. We also have some vegetables to cook. We have a cream sauce that we're going to make. You don't want to miss any of it. Hi. We were just talking about stuff, hanging out in the kitchen with Paul from Vaughn's Restaurant. You are making something that looks amazing today. I love grouper. You fried up some grouper. Now we're going to add something to make it even more <coughs> delicious, a crawfish cream sauce. Exactly. So what we're going to do here is, is uh, we're going to start off, we're going to do somewhat of a roux mm -hmm. uh, at the bottom. So we're going to start off with some uh, butter here. And uh, we're just going to kind of melt that down. And once we get this melted down, we're going to add uh, some heavy cream in. That'll be the base of it. Mm -hmm. And then we'll, we'll put our seasonings in. And then um, we'll let it build up for a little bit. Now, I'm really excited about what Cherish introduced us to in the last segment, the fact that you guys are having a new food truck in Westmobile. That's right, right out where near I live. Exactly. So I've always <clears throat> wondered how food trucks work exactly, because you have your fully functional restaurant. Do you have to kind of pick a certain few menu items? Because obviously you can't go there and have 
200 <clears throat> items. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I designed this kitchen on the mobile, right? Okay. And I built it exactly how I needed it. Uh, so I have my burners, my grills, my fryers. And yes, you pretty much have to do two to three to four different items, mm -hmm. but you can prepare, uh, you know, those to a T. Mm -hmm. You know, and you can give 100% quality. So what type of things do you think we're going to be picking up out of the uh, food truck in Westmobile? Um, you know, this is going to be one of the items here. Uh, we're also going to have uh, shrimp and grits. Oh, uh, yeah. We're also going to have a, a pad thai, which is an Asian noodle dish. Maybe some pho soup, which is real popular. That's um, kind of the, we didn't tell folks about that. That's kind of the unique thing about your restaurant is that you have a couple different uh, cultures yeah. clashing with the cuisine. Yeah, so my wife's Asian, mm -hmm. and obviously you've met her. Yep. And uh, she's, she's cooked, here. she's been here. So we're going to add a little bit of flour here. We're going to make, like I said, somewhat of a roux. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but yeah, I mean, so we have American, Asian, and seafood which it makes it, you know, to where everybody can have a little something they like. Yeah. And being in Bayou La Batchery, being, uh, having the, being in the seafood capital, you know, we get the freshest local seafood that you can possibly get your hands on. Mm -hmm. So people really like that. So what we've done was we made somewhat of a roux here with the butter and the flour. This is self-rising flour as well. Now once we get that going there, we're going to go ahead and put our heavy whipping cream in. Okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is zero-calorie heavy whipping cream here. <laughs> really? Yeah. Hmm. Must be a new invention. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring this together, cut it down just a tad. And uh, from that point, we're going to take uh, a little bit of our seasoning. This is a little bit different. This is this is our in-house Cajun seasoning that we mm -hmm. make. We're going to add a little bit of that there, a little bit of cayenne pepper, granulated garlic, uh, salt, pepper. Okay. So now we're going to add a little bit more. See how we got that roux going? I do. All right, good. So now we're going to add all of this. Yeah, buddy. All right. So now. That is making that good stuff starting to smell good in the exactly. kitchen here. And then that goes on top of that grouper. That's going to mm -hmm. be dynamite. So we're going to add a little bit of ketchup here. Just going to bind it and give it a little zing mm -hmm. and uh, change the color here. So now, once we've done that, we're going to add our fresh crawfish. Straight out of the Gulf. Mm-hmm. All right. Just go ahead and put all that in there. All right. And the recipe for this is online if you want to get a chance to try to make this yourself or there's going to be a food truck in the area or you can go to Vaughn's down in Bayou exactly. Labatry. We're also going to, we're really known for our burgers too. We have uh, stuffed burgers, mm -hmm. stuffed with bacon and cheese, topped with bacon and cheese. Uh, you know, we're going to have, they're, they're over a half pound. Um, we have po' boys. Uh, we have a lot of different pastas. You know, we really just try to critique everything that we do with local ingredients. Yeah. Okay. So now, once we have this going, we can pull this off the heat here. Okay. So now we're going to move over to the, uh, this is the local produce here, chopped fresh. We're going to start out with a little bit of oil in the okay. pan here. Let it go. And we're just going to drop these in. This is a little bit of uh, zucchini, carrots, uh, purple onions. And I tell you what, we'll let you continue to work on those sizzling away. And what's that? And this right here, I'm be honest with you, Joe, this is a family recipe. I have no idea. My <laughs> wife's mother-in-law makes it. It's amazing Asian sauce. Asian sauce yes. on the vegetables. It is steaming here in the kitchen. We're going to check back in and put this all together when we come back. Look at all the... <laughs> through, the through the fog, guys. <laughs> Wish you guys could smell this kitchen. Paul from Vons is making some fried grouper with crawfish cream sauce. And everybody who walks in is saying, man, that smells good. I'm going to have to visit Vons. So just a testament of how good it smells, not just to us. We're not just saying this. Everybody who's come through, our guest today, said, man, it smells they awesome. Have. They have. Okay, well, uh, what we've done is uh, we, we've cooked our vegetables in a, a pan Asian sauce made in house. Mm -hmm. uh, we've cooked them until we're still tender, we still have a little bit of a crunch. We plated those, we fried the grouper. Um, so now we made the sauce, gave the recipe on that. So uh, what we're going to do from here is we're going to go ahead and top our fish, okay? Okay. All right. So. Sauce looks really good. Remind everybody what's in that sauce. Uh, the sauce is going to be, it's going to start out with a little bit of butter, excuse me, sure. a little bit of butter, a little bit of flour. You're going to condense that together. Uh, from that point, you're going to add some heavy whipping cream. Um, you're going to add your seasoning, which was a little cayenne, a little, we made a Cajun season, a little cayenne, uh, black pepper, sea salt, uh, mustard seed, a few other items, whatever you want to add. A Cajun seasoning you can honestly put together if you just grab everything out of your kitchen. <laughs> you just make it how you want to, honestly. So anyway, so now that we've put the sauce together, okay, we're going to take it and put it over our fish. Okay. Okay. 
So. Now, this is something that you can get at Vons. You guys are in Viola Battery. Viola Battery, and we're located at 12953 Wentzel Avenue North. Now, what's, what's great about us is we have a nice website, okay, a five-page website. It gives a lot of our menu items, and it also tells a lot about what we do and the catering that we do. Uh, we've, we've taken on many weddings last year. We already have two set in stone now. Uh, we take phone calls, reservations. You can come meet at the restaurant. We'd be more than happy to give you a tasting, let you try our food before you make a decision. We know it's a very important day for you brides, so please give us a call. I actually just got married the past two weeks. So, awesome. Uh, Congratulations. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. So anyways, uh, you know, it, it was a big part of our life. We understand how important it is, so please give us a call. We love it. We can tailor fit your needs. Um, and that's what you guys do on Saturdays. Yeah. So close exactly. on Saturdays unless you want to book a party, but open to everybody else Sunday through Monday. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so now that we put our sauce on it, we actually grow our herbs in the back. We're going to take some fresh scallions, which is green onions, and we're just going to kind of top it right there. Okay? Okay. Does and that mean I get to taste it now? Dig in, cherish. <laughs> I'm like, fork is in hand. I <laughs> exactly. am ready. I can't wait to taste this. Oh, it looks so good. It smells so good. Fox10TV.com is where you'll find the recipe and everything that you need to know about Bonds. Thank you so much for coming on today. Thank you so much for having me. Mm, I know it's going to be great. Get a shot of Cherish. Mm. <laughs>